You've probably heard the adage that certain behaviors make wealthy people wealthier and poor people poorer. Here are 10 such behaviors that may be robbing you of your time and money without your knowledge. Number 1. Impulsive and unnecessary shopping. If you find yourself overspending on anything other than necessities, you need to exercise greater self control. Allowing your whims to act as your financial counsel is never a good idea. While nobody takes their money to the grave, you should still save some money for a rainy day. Emotions have a significant role in our purchasing decisions. Our private finances are just that, private. Thus, it is logical that when anything is going on in our personal lives, it would manifest itself in our financial behaviors as well. Does a little retail therapy seem like the remedy for a bad day? Perhaps this is not an extreme case. Perhaps it's as simple as purchasing a new baseball hat or a set of earrings. You rationalize that it's not a big deal. All you want is something pleasant to cheer yourself up. Making judgments solely on the basis of emotion ensures that impulsive purchasing takes control. And astute marketers are aware of this. They'll appeal to your emotions with their advertisements aiming to strike a nerve and encourage you to purchase. Number 2. Splurging on excessive food Unfortunately, food waste is a subconscious habit that the majority of people never consider. Each year, the typical American family wastes an astounding 250 pounds of food, ranging from outdated vegetables to expired dairy items. When you go shopping in the future, keep this figure in mind and purchase just what you are certain you will eat. The more times you do an action, the less unique it seems. Consider keeping those upscale dining experiences for exceptional occasions. Rather, cook at home. The majority of restaurants mark up their food by 300%. This implies that if you pay $30 for dinner, the components for the cuisine cost just $10. You pay a higher price at a restaurant due to labor, service, and business expenditures. Consider this. If the typical family spends more than $3,000 per year on eating out, preparing the same meals at home may potentially save the average household $2,000. Let's go a step further. If you invest that $2,000 each year by avoiding dining out or ordering in and get an average yearly return of 8%, you'll have an additional $91,000 for retirement after 20 years. Number 3. Trying to keep up with the Joneses Every week trends and fads come and go. By the end of the month, the new shirt you purchased will be out of style and replaced by another design. It's hard to keep up with the trends, so why bother? You'll save both time and money if you don't. Attempting to keep up with the Joneses is futile. Each time you believe you're getting close, someone else raises the bar even higher. As soon as you purchase the most recent gadget or item, a newer, cooler version becomes available. After remodeling your kitchen, a new house trend takes hold and you become somewhat out of step. Make financial choices based on what you want and are able to afford, not on what you believe you should do to stay current. Make your life uniquely yours. Consider your financial condition and set personal objectives for how you want your life to unfold. By living within your means, you may be pleased with what you already have rather than chasing after what you need. Additionally, prioritize what is really essential in your life, family, friends, etc. If you stick to your own financial objectives and interests, you won't feel compelled to keep up with others. Number 4. Misusing Credit Cards Credit cards, when utilized properly, can save you a lot of money. However, the majority of individuals misuse them and end up losing money due to debt and overspending. Pursue cash transactions whenever possible, since physically exchanging money reduces your proclivity to spend it. If you do not pay your credit card bills, your credit score may begin to deteriorate and you may see an unexpected rate hike on your insurance bill. Insurance companies that use credit scores to determine rates may presume that if you are unable to pay your debts, you will neglect car or house upkeep, or you will be an irresponsible person increasing your risk. Low credit ratings might result in more complications. Certain businesses conduct credit checks on job candidates and may decline to hire you if your score is below a certain threshold. And your credit score is especially critical when acquiring or refinancing a house since it will affect the interest rate on your mortgage and even whether you qualify for a mortgage at all. Number 5. Trying to keep up with technology As is the case with trends, you will never be able to keep up with the newest technology on the market. 
that there will always be a more advanced phone, a quicker automobile, or a larger television available that will outperform yours in some manner. The trick is to discover a product that is sustainable and to continue using it until it ceases to operate. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're loving this video, then make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment. Number 6. Not Investing Inflation in the United States of America was 7% last year. This implies that unless your bank has given you an interest rate more than 7% in the previous year, you are really paying interest. Without doing anything, you've lost money. To combat inflation, you must harness the force of compounding and master the art of portfolio management. Bear in mind that every minute your money sits in your savings account, it could be losing value. Over practically every 10-year period in the last century, U.S. equities have outperformed the majority of investment classes. Some prepping for retirement in their 30s can weather decades of market turbulence and still accumulate money. If a business declares bankruptcy, bondholders, contractors, vendors, and suppliers will be paid first. The most effective strategy for avoiding lasting losses is to maintain a diverse portfolio. Diversification may help protect you against irreversible losses and expose you to a broader range of wealth-generating stocks. Commercial real estate may be an excellent vehicle for wealth accumulation. And in the majority of recessionary times, it is anti-cyclical to recessions. While commercial real estate investment may seem out of reach for the majority of people, there are methods to profit from real estate. However, the tax repercussions may cause you to fall short of your financial objectives. A little tax preparation can go a long way, so invest in accounts that minimize your tax liability and limit your exposure to real estate profits. Number 7. Not Learning New Skills The issue with the majority of individuals is that they are unwilling to expand their horizons and want to remain inside their comfort zone. Continuously expanding your skill set and resume will not only help you in your profession, but will also help you develop as a person. If you are not constantly seeking methods to develop yourself on a regular basis, you may be squandering your life. This may seem harsh, but it is what it is. Learning is the single most effective use of our time. Once you see the importance of knowledge, acquiring more of it becomes easier. Simply commit to continuous learning. It may be transformed into a variety of things, including genuine connections and elevated subjective well-being. How can we get the necessary knowledge and make it work for us? Failure to spend at least 5 hours per week studying the 5-hour rule is a bad habit people fall into in the 21st century. Intellectual complacency has long-term consequences that are just as pernicious as not exercising, eating healthy, or sleeping well. Even if you are an entry-level employee, there is no reason to avoid learning. Number 8. Sleeping Too Much Adults need 7-8 to eight hours of sleep every day. Any more than that is a waste of valuable time. By getting up early, you may have an advantage over your competitors. Utilizing even one more hour per day will propel you higher than you can dream in life. Number 9. Excessive Drinking, Gambling, and Other Vices Work is not the only aspect of life, and you deserve a vacation. Rather than squandering time on worthless things such as dancing and gaming, though, consider going for a walk or a hike. This will not only benefit your health, but will also save you money, since strolling in the park is free, but drinking in a club is not. Number 10. Trying to impress people Frequently, individuals spend money they do not have on items they do not desire in order to impress people they dislike. You wouldn't want the most flashy luxury automobile if it did not captivate people, would you? The harsh reality is that the majority of people you're attempting to impress with your worldly things don't care. And those who do care despise you for outperforming them. Keep your money and invest it instead. And if you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And be sure to like this video to let the YouTube algorithm know you'd like to see more videos like this one.